Yo, 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 what's the deal, what's the deal? It's your boy, who's Hendo, and we back talking sports. So, I'm fishing through the internet, trying to find something to talk about before the season starts. And what do I find, bro? Miami Heat have probably made their stance known on potential James Harden trade. And this is Heat Nation. Um, I'm gonna put the uh, link in the um the description. Or uh, so it says James Harden is still looking for a way to move on from Philadelphia 76ers, but the Miami Heat reportedly are not heading in the direction of trying to trade for the disgruntled star. Yes, Ira Winderman of the Sun Sentinel addresses the topic. Adding that the heat stance doesn't necessarily mean they have ruled out playing a role if a month Okay, so basically all this means is they trying to get a third team in the trade and they probably will trade for you I'm gonna be honest with you I don't like James Harden at all Don't I don't like I never really liked his game like that that he passed the ball too much But he is a phenomenal scorer and he's a great passer Depending on what they give up for them, this might be good for them. They might, because they, they kind of need a point guard, bro. They, they kind of do. They kind of need a point guard. And that's the only reason I'm saying it. And because Pat Riley not having that shit, bro. That shit that James Harden doing, Pat Riley not having that shit. If it's one team in the NBA, and one owner in the NBA, GM in the NBA, that James Harden not going to be able to do that to, is Pat Riley. You saw what happened when LeBron James went to the Heat. And what happened between them, him trying to get Eric Spolster fired and basically, you know, trying to do what he do. And trying to do this and do that. And Pat Riley said, no, we not firing Eric Spolster. And, um... And ultimately, a uh, couple couple months down the line or whatever, LeBron ends up leaving. LeBron is a 50 times better player than James Harden. So what you think? And James Harden is at the end of his career. So if they do trade for him, the only reason why I would say it would be a bad move is because of the culture. You know what I'm saying? Him dis disrupting the culture and him... Him just being a selfish player, bro. Him just being a him just being a selfish I won't say player, but just thinking that he's still Houston James Harden and thinking they're gonna give him a max contract. But as far as just basketball play, they need a point guard. They need a point guard. And James Harden didn't average twenty one and eleven. That's not you know what I'm saying that's not easy to do to average eleven assists. That's not. Because if it was, everybody would be doing it. Only him, what Tyrese Halliburton has done that in the last couple of years. I think LeBron did it in what, 2020. And you know, Chris Paul, I think, has done it and everything. But I'm just talking about last year. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Tyrese Halliburton, I think, James Harden were two of the only people to average double-digit assists. I think Nikola Jokic was close, but I think he was like 9.8. But that's not easy to do he's still a phenomenal uh point guard he's actually that transition from shooting guard to point guard and he could really be a, a hybrid but he also can score the ball it's just him in the uh, playoffs he ass but all this means is that miami the miami heat won a third team in the trade that's all this means Said it connects dots that you should give all the perspective needed. Winterman wrote after being asked by Harden, the East City Edition jerseys this season will feature the world culture across the chest. Can you think of a single thing more incongruous than James Harden in the jersey that reads culture? That would be the NBA definition of J Joe Tax position. Besides, the Heat have made it known probably that. Such is not a direction the team is considering. Now, could it make sense as a one-year rental? 
perhaps, but that would add a whole new element to culture. Now, could the, he enter the equation as a part of a multi-team deal involving Harden? That's another story. So all this means that they're not trying to trade straight up for him. They want a, a third team in the um, deal. So this is not, you basically not saying that you don't want him. You're just saying that you're not trying to, you know what I'm saying, you probably want it for a one-year rental if they can get a third team into the deal. It says, the Heat have spent almost all of the time leading up to 2023-2024 trying to acquire a third starter, added Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo as they attempt to make another run at the title. They waited almost three months before losing out on Damian Lillard, who was traded to the Milwaukee Bucks by the Portland Trail Blazers in late September, then missed on a nabbing Drew Holiday, who wound up with the Boston Celtics. The squad also watched Phoenix Suns acquire Bradley Bill from the Washington Wizards early in the offseason. However, Miami does not seem desperate enough to go after Harden and the significant bag baggage the former NBA MVP would bring. This offseason, he opted into his contract with the expectations that he would be traded. Then called 76ers president Daryl Murray a liar as the trade did not happen. And then so on and so forth. Oh, wait a minute. Through the Though he reached the NBA Finals last season, the Heat now are widely considered to be behind the Bucks and Celtics at least when it comes to the contenders in the Eastern Conference. In theory, Harden could help them make up some ground in the talent race, but the Los Angeles Clippers appear to be his preferred destination. Miami could re reconsider his stance and take on Harden for one season as it attempts to return to the NBA Finals or pick up some talent if it helps facilitate his trade elsewhere, but the Heat seem much more likely to rely on the roster they have at least for now with their season beginning west wednesday october 25th at home against the detroit pistons my detroit pistons so all it is is basically saying to me is that they would get him on a one-year rental if a third team was involved but they're not trying to just trade straight up for him and trying to deal with all the baggage. That's why I said if they get him on a one-year rental, Pat Riley going to ship him into shape. He not finna have none of that. And he know this is his last chance. And if he don't know, Pat Riley going to remind him and release that nigga if he act retarded. And everybody know Pat Riley ain't having that. So, this being Who is Hendo with another video. They not learning about James Harden. But I think it would be a good fit with uh, Miami Heat. Because they definitely need a point guard. But it's just the baggage of James Harden. And him being trash in the postseason. So y'all let me know what y'all think man. This been Who is Hendo. I'm out man. Peace.